We're talking about multiple offers and the second thing is having a firm offer in order to stand out from other offers. Uh, we talked about the financing condition, now we're talking about the home inspection condition. I would never tell someone to remove a home inspection condition unless they were completely comfortable with the pre-inspection done by the seller. Often, if a good listing agent has listed the home, they've uh, enlisted a reputable home inspection company to come and pre-inspect the house. Now, the pre-inspection was done for the benefit of the seller and the paid for by the seller, but if it is a company that is known, such as a Carson and Dunlop, I would say you can proceed with confidence that they have done a good job inspecting the home. However, you can ask if the seller will allow you to talk to that inspector to give you peace of mind on that inspection. Again, you want to come into a multiple offer situation with the fewest or zero conditions. And the last thing I will say is sometimes the letters do work. Oftentimes it comes down to money and the letters mean nothing but a buyer letter with a picture. I have seen it work, believe it or not. So if you you have one that talks about you and your story and how long you've been looking and your family and your dog and how much you want to live in the neighborhood. I have seen this work for certain buyers, especially if they're heartfelt and genuine. So if you have any other questions about multiple offers and winning in multiple offer situations, let me know.